Hey guys, it's Bird today. I wanted to jump on and do a get ready with me. Many of you have been asking for it, so here it is. If you're interested, please keep watching. Hey guys, I'm going to use my Treat Beauty lip balm. I have some new products that I've been using. First, I'm going to use the Contemplative Slate Paint Pot from MAC. <clears throat> I'm so happy that they came out with new shades in the paint pot because previously there was not a shade that was, you know, matched my skin color the perfect amount. Most of them were either too light or too cool in tone. And this one is great. I mean, it definitely doesn't match my skin perfectly, but it's much better than the other ones. I've always liked the MAC paint pots. They are pretty good. And then before it sets down, which these do set down pretty quickly, I just take a clean brush and buff out the edge. All right, and then I'm gonna use the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Ray. I also love the shade Blaze, but Blaze is a little bit more of a rosy bronze. These are so easy to work with. They blend like a dream. And I love like one and done eyeshadows. I would love to see Hourglass come out with some new shades in this. I just love single eyeshadows so much. If I ever owned a brand that would definitely, I would never make eyeshadow palettes. I would just do single shadows. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of Bobbi Brown Luxe Eye Shadow Rich Metal in Heat Ray. It looks like this. It's absolutely beautiful. Sorry if you can hear Axel hitting the door. He's laying right outside that door. I mean, this other door is open, so if he wants to come in, he can, but just got in from a long walk. It's so nice outside today. I think spring is finally here. I remember when I found this eyeshadow. I was so excited. It's just easy to work with. It's beautiful by itself or you can use it like I did. So that's it for the eyeshadow. Really easy. And then after I use the eyeshadow curler, I usually just buff it out once more because sometimes the curler can make a little bit of a mess where it's pressed up against the um, eyelid. We're gonna use this Rimmel Scandalize in brown eyeliner pencil. This is a really great eyeliner pencil um, at the drugstore. If you guys have ever owned MAC Teddy, it's like a little shimmery bronze eyeliner pencil from MAC. That is one that I used to use all the time when I worked for MAC. It was my favorite eyeliner. This is a dupe for Teddy. So I just did a updated skincare routine showing some of my older favorites as well as some newer favorites. I think this video will go up before that one. If you guys are interested in skin prep or anything like that, that video will be a good point of reference. All right, and then I'm also gonna take it in my waterline. 
And to tight line, I'm using the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in After Dark. This is a great pencil to tight line with. Stays put. Love when I find stuff at the drugstore that's good. I mean, I'm sure everyone does, but it just feels really good to be able to have a product that you don't have to think about repurchasing. Not only is it good, but it's affordable and it's easy to find. Okay, now today, this is something that I used to, I used and then I stopped using. I kind of felt like it was stupid, but I went and got the Lancome Sills Booster XL Lash Primer today because I want to start trying to use a lash primer again and see if it will help my mascara at all. I've had a couple of lashes come out and since I'm on Latisse, I really, you know, cherish, I cherish every eyelash that I have. So we're going to try to incorporate this lash primer and see if it helps. And the reason I got the Lancome one is because this is the one that I used to use years ago. I also have used the Dior Show. And this one does have very, very good reviews online. People seem to still adore it. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Love this. See, my lashes are getting kind of long, some of them, and it can make a mess with my mascara if they touch my eyelid. And I'm just using these lash fibers. Actually, I need to get a new one. Hold on. So these little lash fibers come in a kit from Wet n Wild. I've talked about these on my channel for over a year, if not about a year now. And they are so fantastic. I don't like the mascara. So what I do is I take the kit apart and I donate the mascara to the local a homeless shelter along with you know other products I'll go every like three months three or four months and do a drop-off and I donate the mascara instead of just throwing it away I realize for some people it might be like oh well is a mascara that big of a deal it kind of is because the women that are there go out and you know, the requirement for them to stay at the shelter is that they have to be looking for a job. And when they go out for interviews, if putting a little bit of mascara on will help them make feel, it will make them feel better then I'm all for that. So that's what I do with those. Um, and some of you guys might try the mascara and really like it. I just don't care for it. So if you use it and like it, obviously ignore my opinion. All right, and then I'm gonna take my Benefit Professional. Put, I usually take about that much. And dot it right here on the sides of my nose in between my brows and then I distribute it again and put the rest on my forehead I usually find that <clears throat> once you get it on your face then if you go in and sort of pat it in that's not a primer that you can just like vigorously rub because it will start to pill up. So it's best to just like press it into your skin. For this mascara, I'm using the BH Stellar Lash. 
I always feel like one eye looks better than the other. My lashes are more sparse on this eye, but that's just how it goes. For my foundation, I'm gonna use the MAC Face and Body. I take about a quarter size amount of the MAC Face and Body, and then about a dime size amount of the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. And even though it's a primer, it's a beautiful mix-in for foundation. So I just mix those in my hands that are clean until the foundation becomes thick and more plasticky. And that's when you know it's ready to apply. I remember when I first learned about MAC Face and Body from the MAC trainers and they, you know, would explain, rub it together until it gets thick and stuff. And I was like, what in the world is this? And then the first time that I tried it, it was like mind blowing. This is the best foundation ever. It's a little messy when you first apply it, but then I go in with my beauty blender and blend it out. And then we'll be all good. You know, MAC Face and Body is not necessarily for someone that likes a medium coverage foundation because you can still see all of my imperfections, my hyperpigmentation, but I don't care. So just keep that in mind. It's all a personal preference. If you like to be a little bit more of a natural medium coverage, then you would probably hate Face and Body. So now I'm going to use the Becca under eye corrector. I use the shade medium to deep because it does have more of that apricot finish that I like. I just pat a little in just like that. I mean, this jar is gonna last me 10 years. And then what I've been doing lately is this serum spray that I, you'll hear me talk about it in my skincare routine. I've been spraying a little bit on my beauty blender. Make sure that it's not too wet. And then I use it to blend out the corrector. And I just really take my time when I'm blending out the corrector, make sure that it's seamless. And then once everything is blended, I go in with the Becca light shifter finishing veil in number two and this powder is so beautiful it doesn't add any coverage but there are little like light reflecting pearls in here so it's just nice and bright it's not cakey or anything like that and i've really been loving it all right, let's do my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay New Riff eyeshadow. Looks like this. And sometimes I'll use a fluffier brush, but today I'm just gonna use a pencil brush. So it's not as sort of blown out. I want it to be a little bit more precise. Most days I will use the MAC 217. Which makes it much more um, smoked out. But sometimes you want it to be a little closer to the lash line. And that's when I'll use a pencil brush instead. And then for my lower lash mascara, I'm gonna use the Essence Volume Stylist. This has a little bit of a smaller brush, so it's nice for the um, bottom lashes. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Bahama Mama from The Balm. So I basically just use that to chisel out just a little bit. And I take a refer 22 
and use the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Powder in Bronze 04. Mine is getting rather low, but I'm gonna use it till it's gone. And then this one I use is more of a traditional bronzer. So I've been using this blush for the last couple of days and I've owned it for a lot longer, but I kind of put it aside. This is the Rimmel Maxi Blush in Wild Card. Looks like this. And it's not a color that I would usually gravitate towards, but I've really been liking the way that it looks. So I just take the tiniest amount and I've been keeping my blush a little bit higher instead of focusing it on the apples of my cheeks. I bring it up a little higher, go over the bridge of my nose a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of this aloe mist and I'm not gonna put it on the center of my face, just the sides where I'm gonna highlight. It still gets on the center of my face. Just blend it out. Just like that. So I'm not even exaggerating when I say this, you guys. I have found my all-time favorite highlighter of anything I've ever tried. The Hourglass Luminate, Luminous Light Ambient Lighting Powder. This is the best highlighter, especially if you're like me and you don't like a blinding metallic highlight. It is impossible to overdo it with this product. It's absolutely beautiful on the skin and it just looks amazing. It doesn't emphasize texture, it's not too light, it's not too dark, it's not too gold or too pink. And you can add more throughout the day and not feel like you've overdone it. So for my brows, what I do first is I take a brow brush and just brush through them. There's nothing on this brush. And then I take my e.l.f. Wow Brow in Deep Brown. I can't ever remember if I'm deep brown or brunette. You would think it would be brunette, but the brunette's not deep enough. So I'm back combing them first. I let that set for about a minute while I do the other brow. I back comb them to make sure that there is the maximum amount of product on both sides of my hair. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little while and then we will comb them the way I want them to go, do lips, and then we'll be done. So let's fix my brows. All right, and for lips, I'm using the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Ice. This is just kind of like the clear, there's real fine little pink micro glitters, but it basically looks pink on the lips. Or it looks, did I say pink? It looks clear. A bit of this, um, Lip Stories Balm from Sephora Collection in number eight, Ditching Class. Sort of a nude little vibe. These are really cute and they're affordable too. Do I wanna do lip liner? No, I think I'm gonna leave it just like this. So that is it, you guys. Really simple and easy. I love easy makeup. I mean, it takes a while, but to recreate it, it's really simple. So what I will do for my hair is take my Orbe uh, Wave and Shine Spray, just so it has a little bit of something. I love all of the products that I use, but if I was gonna recommend just a couple of the makeup products. MAC Face and Body Foundation, number one. Number two, the Becca Under Eye Corrector, while you can buy it, 
I know that they're going out of business, but if you have an opportunity to try it before they are gone forever, I would try it. Um, the Bobbi Brown Lux Metal Eyeshadow is beautiful, especially if you need a one and done type product. Same with the Hourglass. And then the last product would be the Elf Wow Brow. If you are intimidated by doing your brows, but you feel like you want to do something with them, the Elf Wow Brow is amazing because it's not only a brow gel, it's actually ha it actually has little fibers in it that adhere to your natural hair to create more volume. So it's definitely more than just your normal brow gel, which I really love. And I love even more that it's like four or five bucks, depending on where you buy it. I think it's $4, but it might be five at CVS. Either way, it's amazing. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I actually have a video I'm really excited to film today. We are going to go check out my high school. I have not been on the grounds of my high school since the day that I left. And, you know, YouTube is reminding me a lot of high school right now. So I figured, why not go check out my high school? Tell you guys about my high school experience in more detail. So that's what I'm getting ready to go do. So be on the lookout for that. But for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.